Good morning, children, and welcome back to our online class. In the last video, I had explained to you about what is table in Microsoft Word and for what purpose it is used. So you understood that table we are using for storing the values. So when we store the values, we store in a systematic order so that uh, suppose if we need to fetch or retrieve it, it becomes easy for us. The table contains multiple rows and multiple columns. So rows and columns, their intersection are known as cell. Even we learn how to um, enter some data in a cell. So today, some more things we'll be learning about this cell. So first features we are going to learn is merge cell. See here. Merge cell. Say, this is our table. Like this, okay. Now, here I need to write computer, but in center. So, this line we need to delete, isn't it? So that we want to make this as a single cell, okay. So, this thing is known as merge cell. Merge cell means joining of the cell. We can join two different cells, it can be row wise, it can be column wise. Not only two, more than two can be joined together and can be made a single cell. So this feature is known as merge cell. So merge cell we can apply on row as well as we can apply on columns. We can combine multiple rows together as a single cell or multiple cells. Uh, we can combine to a single cell or else we can combine multiple columns uh, cell to a single cell. Okay, so this feature is known as merge cell. So children, you can see this one, uh, how we can do and from where we do this merge cell operations. Okay, so see here. So see children, we'll open Microsoft Word. For that, we need to click start button, then all program. And uh, we need to search Microsoft Office. And from here, Microsoft Office Word 2007. It may be 2010, 13 also. So this is the interface what we get in Microsoft Word. Uh, last video I have already told you how to create the tables. So tables are present in the insert tab. So table group is there. There are two ways we can use this part, this boxes from here directly or else we can use insert table. So let us make uh, columns as we'll keep column say 4 and uh, row let us make as three click on the ok button so see here we have created this one and i need to write here say suppose roll number and here i'm writing name and here class and uh, here subject okay so row number let us give as one then down two and the name i'll be giving as say one is saros another is nidhi okay and uh, class let us make this as 5a and this also 5a only subject let us write computer Let me make the table a little bit bigger in size. Uh, I think this much is okay. So now we'll be using the features of merge cell in Microsoft Word. So merge cell means what the two cells will be combined together, isn't it? The two cells will be combined or joined together. So these are the cell okay this side this one two three four we have to assume this is a this is b this is c this is d okay there's a column and this side will assume that row one row two row three and intersection of row and column is known as cell so see here first of all we have to select the cell which we want to merge say i'll select this two cell 
then after that we need to click on the layout tab so inside the layout tab we know uh, we'll be finding merge options here and merge sale options here so we'll click on the merge sale see so you can find here or you can see here that one uh, lining was there one line was there which was dividing this single cell into two part is missing right now okay so this happens because of merge cell so children merge cell what it does is it join two different cell we can join two different cell row wise column wise also it depend on us what kind of table we are going to create so accordingly we can join two different cell together is this clear children so children you understood what is merge cell isn't it so just now i've shown you merge cell benefit okay benefit is we can uh, add a heading on multiple cells table okay now see sometimes we need to split the cell also okay see here this is known as splitting cell splitting cell now what does splitting cell means see like this our table is there now this part we need to make here one two that means see we have added how many uh, column here now three columns this is known as splitting cell that means a single cell is divided into multiple cell splitting means single cell divided into multiple cell okay so splitting cell has also a benefit and it is also used in our uh, tabular representations so children see here how we apply split cell okay practically so see here for split cell also or splitting cell we need to open microsoft uh, word so the step will be same there is start button then all programs then we have to search microsoft office and microsoft uh, office word 2007 so here also in the same way i'll be creating the tables like uh, insert table i will use uh, or this time i'll be using the draw tables okay so i'll be just taking one two three four um this one row and uh, sorry four columns and three row i'll just type here the same text so roll number and um, name class and subset let us write here one two and here same name i'm just giving so rows and needy and class let us take as 5a here also 5a and the subject will be giving the same that is computer okay um, and let us make the table little bit big the step is same okay now we'll move toward the splitting cell First, let me tell you what is splitting cell. Breaking up a single cell into multiple cell in a table is called splitting. If single cell is breaked into multiple cell, that is known as splitting. So to do this, it's just a reverse of merge cell, isn't it? Merge cell, we are just joining two different cell, and splitting, we are just uh, dividing the single cell into multiple cell. Both are reverse. So what we have to do is first i will be showing you by merge cell okay see so here like merge cell means we need to select this one then layout tab you went and uh, merge cell you click so two cell was joined together isn't it now if this cell i want to make one single line over here i want to split the cell i'll just need to select it then layout see split cell is option available here if i click how many columns you want number of columns two okay now this part also like this one if i need split cell if i do okay see one more lining will be coming over there so a split shell benefit is what a single cell can be divided into multiple cells there is no limit okay the number of cell you want you can 
create it so this is the benefit of a split cell merge cell and split cell both are reverse to each other merge cell join two or more than two cell row or column wise same way um, this one split cell div um, divide the single cell into multiple cell is this clear children so now you understood how the splitting cell uh, help us in tabular representation there are many cases where we need to apply merge cell as well as split cell to decorate our table to represent the data in a systematic order okay like suppose if you have seen your class routine that is also created in a spreadsheet and there is a lunch break columns isn't it you can see multiple cells are joined together and lunch break has been written there so that is known as merge cell there we have used the feature known as merge cell okay now you can see again date and day like this two things we need to write in a single cell we can use a split cell the single cell we can divide in two different cell okay so when we create when we design the tables we can use these features these features are additional okay optionals we can use this one to decorate our tables to highlight our tables to make it uh, uh, in such a way so that user easily understand what actually we are going to uh, explain them okay so uh, in tabular representation merge cell and split cell are two different important topic okay children